My name is Wayne Suyanaga. I have brought a bird pin that was created by my grandfather, Hanzo Shimokawa, of at that time the island of Hawaii. And he did this in, I would guess, 1944 or thereabouts, in one of the camps that uh, he was at. There were camps in Louisiana, in Missoula, Montana, and in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm not sure where he made this. He made some other objects, but um, you know these bird pens were popular um, things to, to make in many of the camps. So this was done there. There are others that uh, he has and other family members have that uh, may have also been done in the camps, but also when he returned and uh, returned to Hawaii. Well, he wasn't uh, officially allowed to teach again, so the family moved to Honolulu, and eventually he did teach in a language school in Honolulu and for another 15 years or so. Um, he was always interested in art, even though he couldn't practice it uh, you know, professionally or full time. And we have some paintings of his from uh, before the war and after he retired especially, he did a lot of drawings and paintings. But uh, this is something he loved to do all his life. Well, this particular piece, the piece itself, I don't know its history. I'm fairly sure it was done in a camp. For instance, the pin on the back is a uh, regular safety pin. Others he had, has made had the uh, you know, fancier jewelry type back, back in. Uh, I came into this, my wife and I came into this just last year, and we didn't really know about it except some some family dealings. And all of a sudden, people said, "Oh yeah, these pins," and you know, many of my cousins have two or three. So, but this is the one we have. He might, I might have, and it would be surprising if he did, because I think he, they had some materials. But I'm not aware of any of his paintings in there. He did, of course, a lot of work, and he said that. A lot of his work, both before and after the war, especially, he gave away his gifts to you know, like weddings and special favors. So he was quite prolific, and we have, the family has a lot of his paintings and drawings, especially from the time after he retired. So all these things are, say, embodied in this. The art itself, well, it was something to do. And he, and it was a release of his say, artistic talents. But other than that, yeah, well, that's quite a bit. <laughs>